you know, like when you do your talking, like, you know, do legal part, you're like, okay, I'm gonna show you my outfit. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my beauty space. If you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Natasha. And of course, in today's video, I did want to do a very bold, smoky eye with a bold lip as well, because we are approaching fall. You guys know I am a fall baby. Fall is my favorite time of the year. So when I'm able to do these bold lips around this time, I am super happy. And I would wear this face like at the grocery store at nine o'clock in the morning. I am that confident in it because I think it's so beautiful. So if you guys wanna see how I achieved this makeup look, and also I'll give you guys an outfit of the day because I am taking pictures for my Instagram. I don't know what all that was about. <laughs> go ahead and keep watching. Let's go ahead and get this party started. So the first product I'm gonna grab is my Yes 2. This is the Mystified Moisturizer. I always spray this on my face before I start my foundation. And while that is sinking into my face, I'm gonna take my Yes 2. This is the Souffle Moisturizer. And of course, I try to keep the same brand. And I use this over and over because for one, it hasn't broke my face out. It smells really good and it keeps my skin super moisturized and I love that. And also too, I like to see the difference in my skin when I use a product for a long period of time. Brows are already done, so let's not mess them up. The last product I'm gonna apply to my face is my Neutrogena. Now I place this under my eyes because sometimes I look a little bit tired and I want to give my eyes a little bit of mm, make me not look like I partied all weekend or worked more hours than I should have. <laughs> Just take your ring finger and start applying this under your eyes. I tap more so than rub but you wanna use your ring fingers because these are the fingers that apply less pressure. You don't wanna tug at the skin because it is so sensitive. I'm gonna start with foundation first. So I'm taking my e.l.f. This is my poreless primer. This has been one of my faves. I mentioned this in a faves video before. And lately I've been taking my beauty blender and kind of just dipping this in. I'm not gonna say this is the most sanitary thing that I do, <laughs> but since I'm the only person using this primer, we're okay. Oh yes. And did I tell you guys, I just noticed that this shirt was more of a green shade. For some reason, I thought it was mustard, like a honey mustard shade. What the heck? When I do use a primer, I try to use the same foundation that goes with it. So I do have the e.l.f. This is the Flawless Finish Foundation, one of my faves. There's so many shades in this foundation range. I'm so happy. The shade that I did pick up is Latte. I'm usually like a caramel shade, but in the summertime, let me tell you, I sit outside in the sun all day. At work, I'm like, let me go ahead and get my vitamin D. So I'm just gonna take my foundation, shake this up, place it on my hand. Let me remind you guys, you guys wanna make sure that your beauty blender is always damp. Do not apply your foundation with a rock hard beauty blender. Like, it's not gonna blend, it's not gonna absorb any of your foundation, it's just gonna look crazy. I'm just using my Wet n Wild, this is the Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. Whew, that was a lot to say. And for some reason, I always start at my chin. Since I'm taking pictures today, this foundation does photograph beautifully. It makes my skin look flawless, like I'm airbrushed, I don't have no pores. <laughs> Thank you. 
Just grabbing a little bit more because I love to have a full coverage face. People, I'm gonna need y'all to chill. And then I'm just taking a square brush, spraying it with some setting spray. I'm gonna grab some more of this foundation that's on the back of my hand. And I wanna make sure I get in between my brows, my baby hair, Cause you don't want to be out here looking crazy. And this brush is perfect for this. So I do have the e.l.f. This is the 16 hour camo concealer. These are like my faves. I do mix two together. And this concealer does dry a little fast so you do kind of have to work quickly one morning I was uh, getting ready for work and I kind of was just taking my sweet time let me tell you this <laughs> it like stained in one spot so it's, it was hard to move I had to take out a makeup wipe and kind of move it Spraying my brush, this is a highlight brush, but I'm gonna use it to blend out my concealer. Cause your girl got things to do today, so I gotta move a little bit quicker. And I don't know why I start with my chin with everything. And I'm just blending this concealer under my eyes and that is a lot of product so I'm able to spread it. I don't wanna go directly under my eye because that is how creasing happens. But I am, you can see I'm kinda of moving pretty fast with this concealer. And just so I don't have to prime my eyes, I do bring the concealer to my eyelids. But look at that. Look how much product I was able to spread. Oh, did I tell you guys I am wearing contacts? These are my Iris Beauty contacts. So bomb. These are actually my fave. These are in the shade Sensual Brown. Unfortunately, I'm a creature of habit. I'm one of those people that have like an addictive personality. So when I like something, I like it. Until I don't like it anymore, I keep doing it. I am gonna grab my LA Pro Concealer. This is in the shade Mahogany. One of my faves. I haven't got enough of it, so you guys will see this on my channel all the time. And I'm only gonna use this cream contour, of course, for my nose. Taking a Real Techniques brush, this is actually a smaller concealer brush. I usually use this for my brows, but we're gonna use this to blend out the darker shade. Do not get me started on nothing. Like I said, my addictive personality kicks in and I am stuck on it. <laughs> and just to make sure everything is cleaned up, I'm going back in with my Beauty Blender. I have the tendency to do my makeup a little bit backwards sometimes. Some days I start with my eyes, some days I start with contouring. It's just how I feel in the morning when I'm doing my makeup for work. Lately, I've been doing my contour after I do my foundation. So I'm taking my Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Glow Contour Palette. Sis, when I say holy grail, this is in Caramel Taffy as far as I think the contour, that's the name of the contour. This setting powder though is everything. Like this can compete with a high-end setting powder. So without further ado, let me grab my contour brush. This is from Real Techniques. I'm diving right into this. I used to have four of these and they all hit pan, all of them.
Now, if you do have hair on your face, it's a little bit harder to do circular motions because you are gonna pick up the hair and that kind of disturbs your makeup. Now, I do use a razor and it's not, it's for your face, it's not like a regular razor and that gets rid of all my peach fuzz so my skin is silky smooth. But I highly recommend, if you're gonna start shaving your face, remember, you're gonna have to do it all the time. Going back in with this powder. So beautiful. And now I can just go right in with my setting powder. And the good thing about Wet n Wild, and Wet n Wild's been around for a minute. I've been loving their products since I was like in eighth grade. I think I still have a makeup palette from like eighth grade, it's so funny. But it does tell you where you want to apply the product at. And I think that's helpful, especially for beginners. So it does tell you all the areas and where you should be highlighting. I'm just taking a sponge. Look at that. And this is one of the sponges I did get in the 75 sponges. If you haven't seen, gosh, I don't even know what favorites video that was in, but these sponges are lit, especially if you're a makeup artist. Okay, my stomach growled so loud. I'm so sorry if you were able to hear that. And then I'm gonna contour right under my eyes. Not right under, but like my nose slash right next to my eyes. I don't know how to describe it, I'm sorry. Now that I look a little crazy, let's keep going. I have to put this powder on my forehead because I have the tendency to get oily there and this helps out a lot. And the only powder that I'm gonna remove is the powder that I have on my cheeks. I try not to bake there for too long. move on to blush now that I've removed my setting powder I know this is like still the saga of looking crazy but we're gonna continue with this I'm gonna keep setting the areas that I really want to you know keep bright when I'm taking photos I have my always rosy blush this is from elf now I think these blushes are infused with primer I want to say that's what the label said but we're gonna go with it I always smell stuff I don't know why have the wet and wild I always remove oh I was gonna say I always remove the name but the name of this palette is nude awakening this is what the palette looks like and remember what I said about wet and wild I love how they give you a diagram on the back let you know what you should be doing with this palette where all the colors go also too there's numbers on the back to help me tell you guys what colors I'm using for this look, just in case you try to recreate it. I got the blank slate. Now I do like to use a lot of the same brushes all the time. And so anytime you want to reuse a brush after you did you know, your brow highlight or used a darker shade to intensify your crease, you just wipe your brush in here and it takes the product off. And so you can pick up a new shade. I love that. The shade that I am picking up for my brow highlight is this white shade right here. This is number two in the palette. Shade number two, once again. The next shade I'm gonna pick up is a transition shade and it does tell you at the top. So the transition shade, which is right here. I almost dropped this. Actually, this shade might be a little bit too light. You may not be able to see it. There's a deeper transition shade at the bottom. 
I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up with the same brush. Perfect. Exactly what I was going for. And actually those blend out very well together. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that transition shade down. I'm still like, this shirt is green. Now I'm gonna tap in to this black shade. That's number five. And I'm gonna take an angled brush and I'm going to kind of make it look like I'm wearing eyeliner. Now I am gonna spray my brush with a little bit of setting spray. Oh, it's pigmented. See how I did like a little wing? And I'm actually not as nervous because it's not liquid. We're gonna focus color three in my outer crease. Beautiful burgundy shade. Now I kind of want to open up the front of my eyes, especially since I'm not going to be wearing real eyeliner as far as like liquid eyeliner. I think I'm going to take the shade number four right under that burgundy shade and I'm going to place this kind of in the inner corner of my eyes just to open them up. Now this does have shimmer in it. I was trying to stay away, but work with me. I'm taking my black eyeliner. Let me go ahead and just do my waterline. I think my contact lens was moving. <laughs> and I'm gonna go back in with the burgundy shade and I'm gonna place this in my lower lash line. Be careful with any type of burgundies or purple. You don't wanna look like you have a black eye. And we're gonna place this right under my eyes to kind of give it a sharper look when I remove it. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I love when your lashes are not like rock hard from your eyeliner and they just move. Maybe I'll do like a makeup video without falsies because I actually have pretty long lashes taking my Ardell these are the mega volume lashes this is in 257 I do like to get 258 but my Sally's did not have those I'm just getting some glue and yes boo I'm using hair glue I don't like my lashes to fall off like I'm terrified to be talking to somebody and my lash just happened to like pop off and be waving at you I ain't got time for that. When I did my left side first, uh-oh. Your girl's trying to move up in the world. I usually have rituals when it comes to doing things. I do my right side first with everything. It's like my right side is my guide to everything. I can't even do my brows left side first. I will mess up on my right side. It just pops on, no issues. Using my mascara because we want to blend in our falsies with our real lashes. This is a necessary step, boo. I need to take my setting powder brush and wipe away the rest of the setting powder. And 
I mean, while I'm at it, I might as well grab my mascara. Coat these lower lashes. Now that my face is pretty much complete, I do want to highlight in all the necessary areas. I'm gonna spray my face first. I'm gonna take my Makeup Obsession. This is the Mega Destiny. Why did I say density in the other one? Picking up this highlight once again. Taking a little bit on my finger. You know, I like my nose to be popping. Okay, so I am finding myself being a little bit extra and I went and grabbed this palette and I'm so sorry. I mean, I told you I have a hard time putting it down. I want to take the shade Trust Issues. I'm gonna go put this palette back where it was. Moving on to my lips. Now I know you guys are gonna say, your lips should be nude because your eyes are so bold. And this is just a 99 cent brown eyeliner from Wet n Wild. Remember when you would wear your lips like this and you would just add like a clear lip gloss on top? I won't do that to you guys today, I promise. So I'm gonna take my Lime Prime. This is in the shade Salem. Oh, so beautiful. I'm gonna go back in with my setting spray from Wet n Wild. This is in the scent Coconut. Don't be stingy with the setting spray. This is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed. And as I mentioned, I promised you guys the outfit of the day, so let's get to it. These shoes are from Target. I love them. The skirt that I got is kind of from like a random store. The store is like 579. Kind of just has like club clothes there. And the skirt is leather. So it does get a little hot, but it's really cute. And you can kind of like adjust the skirt. So it does have a longer area, but if you adjust kind of like the top part of it, scrunch it up. You can make it look really cute. This is 579. The purse that I did get is a snakeskin purse. This is from Target. So my jewelry, as far as like my necklace, is from Burlington's. I think this is the EXO collection. And these earrings are from 579 as well. So this is my outfit. You guys know I wanna thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I definitely appreciate the support. Until my next video, please do not forget to thumbs up, share, and subscribe to my channel. Sharing my videos definitely helps. Like I said, if they're helpful for you, boo, they're gonna be helpful for somebody else. So continue to share my tutorials. As always, you guys know I love you. I appreciate the support. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.